What's up, YouTube? It's me, Zach, here today, and I was like reptiles, and, uh, I got a request to make a pygmy chameleon care video, so, um, I guess I'll get started, so, um, I'll start off with the substrate. For the substrate, you're gonna need something that keeps it humid. If it, you could be wet paper towels, that would work pretty good, because they would have a lower chance of getting impaction, but I use EcoEarth because, um, this EcoEarth is pretty solid right now, because I pack it down really hard, and it just keeps a good job of my plants being alive, because if you want live plants, you're going to have to use eco-earth, or some other type of soil, but not potting soil, because that has harm harmful chemicals in it, and there he is up there, um, I drip ice cubes over his cage, um, well, I'll get to that later, so you, you don't really need a little water dish like this, but I use it just because, like, you know, he walk, they walk around on the fourth floor sometimes, and sometimes he walks in there and drinks it. I'm sorry if this video is wobbly, uh, I, my tripod doesn't go this high, the camera would be right here and it would look weird going like that, so I gotta hold it uh, at head level, and I have some, some Spanish moss and stuff, um, cage sizes, for a baby a 5 gallon would work, but when they get older, you're gonna want like an exoterra like this, um, cause it's high, and uh, it has good, it has a uh, Good airflow in it. You you can use a Repti Breeze too, cause that's actually better. But uh, what I do is I leave his doors open like this and let the fans blow air in there. And sometimes I uh, put this on. And you do need uh, something like a misting system, or you can just use this. But like if you go on vacations, you're gonna want to have a misting system set up for like two times a day in a minute, so your plants and your chameleons stay alive. Because, oh, they will drink water off the leaves. They won't go in a bowl and drink it like most chameleons. Um, You might want a background because I mean, you don't really need one, but it'd be a good idea. So they can climb on it. And because chameleons don't recognize glass very well. So it'd be just better to have one of those backgrounds. And for food, you feed them very small crickets. Uh, make sure the crickets don't have any, like, sharp thorns on them. Make sure they're soft and uh, mealworms. I don't really recommend them because they have uh, spines on them and stuff, like on their mouth, and they can bite. So like waxworms would be good, small waxworms and stuff. Um, you're gonna want a lot of climbing space. I'm not a lot, but it's like a. If you have plants, uh, they won't really climb on these big branches. They'll mostly climb on these little ones because they're easier to grip. But you're gonna want some climbing space. They don't have to have that much leaves because. Um, so you can say they normally just stay brown like this and blend in and look like a dead leaf, so it'd be beneficial to just have something like this. I like this because he has areas to crawl through, and I wouldn't recommend having one of these in there. Uh, this is just uh, for a little bit. I'm going to take it out in a few weeks here because um, it has some thorns on it, which I don't really like, but he doesn't, he doesn't climb on it. When I'm going to replace uh, that with this. Um, so now we're going to lighting. For the lighting, you're gonna need um, a UVB. Some people say you don't need like lighting for these guys, but you, you really do because it's a chameleon and they like to bask and they need their bones to grow. Even though he's gonna stay small, I still want their bones to grow. And the lifespan of these guys is normally um two, uh, two to four years. And this one's a one year one year old, so he's he still has some ways to go, but. You can't really, you can never like be sad when your chameleon dies if it's like two years old because their lifespan is really short. But, um, I have this back here so the crickets don't crawl in the background. But, so, like I said, you're gonna want something to keep the cage humid and gonna want like this. And you can also put ice cubes on top of the cage like I do. I just use this because I think it look, makes it look cool. But, you do want airflow in your cage, so I'd recommend like maybe. Like, if you don't have, like, a cat or something, you can just leave it open like that. Not while you're, like, if you're at school or something, don't leave it open. Um, just close it, and then when you get home, just maybe leave it open while you're in your room doing homework or something. But, uh, yeah, these guys are pretty simple to take care of, but they are pretty fragile. Uh, you're gonna want the temperature to stay around, um, don't let it go over 85. I'm just gonna put it like that, so, so, like, I'd say 80 through... 
65. Don't want to go, don't really let it get to 65. I mean, if your windows are open, there, that's fine, because they're from Africa, and it does get pretty cold at nights there sometimes in the deserts and in the little rainforest. So, um, yeah, that's it. I'll give you guys some more close-ups on him. And this is for my future mist system I'm getting for Christmas. So I'll give you guys, um, a little thing on that if I do get one for Christmas. But I'm asking for my parents to get me one of those for Christmas. But it would, um, also if you got little, um, like, uh, springtails in the bottom if you had substrate like this. Because the chameleon's, uh, uh, droppings will help the plants too. But you can use fake plants or live plants. I just like to use live plants because I like plants, you know. So, yeah. Um, and I'm sorry if I forgot anything, guys, because, uh, I'm, it's kind of, I've been not feeling my best today. I'm kind of stuffed up. But, yeah, comment, like, subscribe, and thanks for watching, guys.